One of my favorite examples, and this is, you know, going back a while, but we we're coming up with the ideas for this show. Um, and it sounds crazy that Buffett would do this, but um, Buffett actually bought a tech stock in the 1970s. Oh, did he? Yeah. Like, it's, you know, you grow up and you're like, oh, yeah, Buffett doesn't buy tech stocks. He buys Coca Cola and just. Yeah, he, he, he likes boring companies. Right. And yeah. it's because they're steady and predictable, Dylan. Come yeah. on. <laughs> um, but uh, it was specifically for the reasons that we're talking about. They made this really great shift to being a responsible capital allocator in buying back shares and all that good stuff. Um, under the leadership of Henry Singleton in the 1970s, um, Teledyne Corp, I think it was actually Teledyne Technologies, and this was like a quasi defense contractor tech firm it was actually a remnant and it was originally founded in 1960 it was part of the 1960s conglomerate boom um you know we're going back 40 years here but <laughs> finance doesn't change much um but then the 1970s bear market happened and if you thought that 2008 2009 was bad 1973 and 4 were equally as bad like the average multiple on the S&P 500 was like 7 it was low. Like it was really, really bad. So that sounds like you're leading to a, a buying opportunity. Yeah. No. And so what Singer did was uh, their stock dropped from like forty to eight bucks, and he had issued a ton of shares into the conglomerate boom. They had all this cash lying around. They had all these arguably stable, great defense contractory type stable businesses. Started buying back tons of stock um, over the ensuing ten years. I had some data here. Hold on. Um, in the ensuing ten years. Earnings went up 89%. Shares went up. You mean uh, individual share price? Yeah, yeah. This is really, really good. Annual income increased by 89%, and net income increased by 315%. The stock, on the other hand, went from eight bucks, now remember the high previously was 40, to by the end of the decade, I'm sorry, by 1976. Uh, I'm sorry, end of the decade, $175. Wow. Because of all these share buybacks. Yeah. And because that pie is. 17 means- bagger. Like, this is better than a 17 bagger. And it was all just because this engineer CEO of a tech firm was smart enough to know okay, yeah, we probably shouldn't buy other businesses. We probably shouldn't invest in R&D, we should probably just buy back our shares because we're trading at a ridiculously low valuation compared to where we should be. And. and- and of course, part of that share price appreciation is the fact that the pie is being split right. in much fewer slices once business prospects turn around. Right. right. Yeah. The share count goes down, and even if your net income stays the same, the piece of the pie is increasing, and your earnings per share go up, and the earnings that you own or have claim on are higher. Yeah. And I think that perfectly highlights, uh, you know, one of the big advantages of um, repurchase. Plans and uh, that style of capital allocation, where you have the opportunity to opportunistically buy uh, when shares are low, and um, take advantage of possibly the market undervaluing a company. I mean, obviously, who should know better about the, the prospects of a business over right. the next couple of years than the people managing it? Than the CEO, you would yeah. think, right?